Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this angular video tutorial, we will learn that how we can write a unit test cases for a component. We will test the unit test case uh, for component property for the component function as well as the component HTML element also, right? So in the previous video, we also talked about the unit test cases, but uh, the, in that video, we are actually learning that how we can run the test cases, how we can just write the test cases and uh, what is the meaning of test cases and all right so that was a very uh, basic concept you can say that and uh, after this video you will feel very confident about to writing the test cases uh, on a f component you can say that right so now let's get started first of all uh, i'm just going to tell you about the behavior of spec file that how it actually work and uh, when you just create a component them then some code in spec file is automatically generated then i will tell you that why this is generated and all right so let's understand the code then we will just create a new component and check out the example right so here you can see that uh, in the app.component.spec.ts file so the lots of code is written here but actually i will tell you that there is only three test cases is written right and the other code is uh, you can say that this is the um, importing the file or you can say that the setup the configuration file and all right so first of all we just uh, import the three files and it have the total uh, five properties test base bad is actually a major api in the angular core which is uh, responsible for writing the unit test cases and async please don't compare it with the async await this is the basically you can say that the property of angular core not the actually async await right but the it will work uh, uh, very similarly it will basically use for uh, handle the async functions kind of things right then uh, we just imported the routing if you just want to write the test cases for routing and all and uh, this is the only single routing module that's why uh, we only one routing module is imported here so let's say we have the more than one module then maybe you will find there uh, the more than one component is imported here right and the declaration we will just declare that what component we want to test here like app component we will test in this file right so after that in our first test case we will just check that our uh, component is completely loaded or not if this is uh, loaded and the instance of a com uh, component is created then it will just tell that uh, everything is perfectly fine so the that kind of code is automatically generated when you just uh, create a new component right so now let's make a new component and check out the spec file and here we will write the unit test cases also also so just write here ng g4 generate c4 component let's say my component name is user and let's hit here we have a new folder now and it have the four files in the main spec.ts uh, file you will find that importing the component and importing the uh, test cases is there or uh, testing parts or testing properties are here and i will just tell you about the component fixture also and uh, then we just uh, make the configuration here like uh, test bed and the configuration module like this one we just going to test here and uh, it will just tell that uh, component is uh, uh, rendered and instantiated properly and then here we can just start our code right so for the first test okay so let's talk about the fixture right so the so fixture is basically uh, or you can say that the component fixture is basically work with a test bed and it will help us to actually uh, debugging the test case as well as uh, uh, runtime changes so let's say our uh, testing test cases are actually running and in the middle we are just changing something that time it will automatically detect the changes here and here you can see that the fixture is actually used used right so that's all now uh, let's say i have a property in a user.component.ts file so let's say my property name is uh, component name and let's say i just use put here test and i want to test that the component name is user is uh, correct or not right then uh, i can just go to the spec file 
and just simply write here a test case in our first parameter we will write right? any test like uh, testing title then a second parameter is basically um, you can say that the arrow function and here we are just going to expecting the component dot where this component is actually came from from here right and component dot uh, component name and to be it should be like user right and if this is not user then this cache test case will be gonna fail and i will show you that uh, failing case also so just write here npm test and uh, now it will just going to start to bundling the everything like it just compiling that how many test cases and where they are actually return and after that it will open a new chrome application and here you can see that this is being controlled by this and this right yep now you can see that we have the five test cases testing case title is perfectly working fine so if let's say i just put here app then in that case this will be one of fail because actually we put here the component name is name is user right and he is saying it is saying that uh, expected user but it just find here app right because we just mentioned here user right so now let's make it correct first of all like this so now let's say i have another function let's say i have a function sum and it actually returns something like it returns 100 right and i want to test that let's say here we have a uh, lots of uh, logical stuff but it will actually return 100 at the last right so now we can just check it it also so for that let's make another test case just write here testing function and component dot sum and the output should be like 100 right so now let's test it again and now you can see that this is also passed successfully so how would i know that this is not failed so if i just put here some wrong output then it will tell that uh, the test case is actually failed here right so now let's make it correct again and let's say we have uh, how we can just pass the parameter also so for this function so let's say if you have a function parameter then we can just pass here like uh, 40 and 60 and now we want to test here like a comma b just put here a plus b and the output should be like 100 right then now it should be pass that's great so at the last let's say we have some html element and we want to test that how we can test so for example we have a h1 tag and it have a text like user and uh, then it have a class with name like just uh, sum or something right whatever you want then uh, let's just write the one more test case for it and just write a testing html element and here actually we need uh, one another property uh, which is uh, native element so just simply capture here like take a const and like const is like data or what whatever your variable you want to put here right and just use here fixture dot um property name is uh, native element right and now just you can remove it if you want just write here expected and in expected just write here data dot uh, query selector and uh, for the query selector you will select that this this will be selected on the behalf of class with the dot and then class name like sum then just put here text content right uh, is there something wrong yep now this is fine dot to contain and here uh, what contain we have here like uh, user like now let's test it again 
uh, this is also working fine so if you still have any kind of confusion regarding these uh, test cases in a component ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care